Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv and today we have a massive haul video of four San Martin watches and a whole bunch of San Martin watch straps. All brought to us courtesy of San Martin through their AliExpress store. What I'm going to do here today is quickly present each one of these watches, the basic specs and measurements, and I'll take a quick wrist shot and a quick loom shot of each watch. There will be a separate review video for each one of these watches in the coming weeks, so make sure you stay tuned for the full details on your favorite watches, together with the regular B-roll footage, pros and cons, etc. This will be just a quick presentation and initial impressions video. You'll find all the links to the watches and straps I'm going to show you in the description of this video, so check them out if you're interested. And here they are side by side, all plastics removed, and thrown to the recycling bin. First we have the SN0031-C2-G Unimatic U2 homage. These come in gray, black, or this yellowish khaki. They cost $168.35 on an ATO strap, or about $3 less on a two-piece nylon strap that I'm also going to show you. The width of the case is 38 millimeters, its overall thickness is 14 mm, excluding the added thickness of the strap, 20 mm between the lugs, and 47.5 from lug tip to lug tip. Its key features include a California-style dial, a 316L stainless steel case, a high, single-domed and AR-coated sapphire crystal, a signed screw-down crown, and a blank screw-down case back. A robust automatic NH35 movement made by Seiko, 200 meters of water resistance, and vintage style Super Luminova loom compound on the hands and dial markers. The NATO strap is very good quality, with strong stitchings and robust signed stainless steel hardware. It's an odd case shape that looks cool and is finished well, but does take some getting used to as the lugs curve up instead of down like we're used to see. Here it is on my 7-inch wrist, pretty cool I think, but definitely bulky and overhanging, which again is something that I need to get used to. Here is that loom shot for you, a bright and clear green glow that will last longer on the hands than on the printed markers. Moving on to the next watch, this is the larger pilot's watch, SN0095DA. I'm not sure if this is a direct homage to a specific watch or an original design inspired by the old pilot's watches of World War II, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments either way. This one measures 45 mm in diameter, making it a watch for bigger wrists. It is 14.5 mm thick, an odd 23 mm between the lugs, and 54.5 mm from one lug tip to another. And look at that dial. Really nice fumy effect, coffee colored and gravel textured dial with San Martin's hexagon logo. This one too sports a sapphire crystal, a boxed one, a nice mixture of brushed and polished finishes on the stainless steel case, a huge screw down crown, solid stainless steel case back held in place with small screws, 100 meters of water resistance, and a very thick leather strap with a branded stainless steel buckle and quick release spring bars. Here it is on wrist, definitely more fitting for larger wrists, but I can see myself rocking it as a historically correct piece from time to time. And here is the loom shot, extremely bright and readable C3 Super Luminova, thick and well applied, that will shine for hours. Both this version and the smaller one are powered by the Epson YN55A, essentially an unbranded Orient F6922 automatic movement, and pretty much equivalent to the Seiko NH35. I'll get into more details about it in my full review, including accuracy test reports of both watches. This one costs $238.70. The smaller SN0095X-G is basically the same watch scaled down. 
It is 40 and a half millimeters wide, 12.8 millimeters thick, 20 millimeters lug width, and 48 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. It shares the same gorgeous textured fumy dial with these bold loomed Arabic numerals, the same cathedral style hands, same type of thick leather strap, solid case back, and everything else. Other than the size, this watch differs from its larger counterpart by the choice of movement. Besides the YN55A, you can also opt for a Chinese PT5000 or a Swiss SW200. Both are high beat movements based off the Swiss ETA2824-2. With both watches, you can also choose a sterile dial with no text and no logo if that's what you prefer. Here it is on wrist. Definitely an easier watch to wear one that would fit a bigger variety of wrist sizes. I prefer this one, no doubt. As for the loom, just as great as the previous one with heavily applied C3 Superluminova. Prices are $238.70 for the YN55A version, $299.60 for the PT5000, and $430.50 for the Celita SW200. Last watch is my personal favorite of the bunch, the SN0021B-2 Tudor Black Bay 36 homage, which I have to be honest, I couldn't help myself, and already unboxed and wore for a couple of days. This is such a well-made watch, they all are to be honest, but this one is the most up my personal alley. It also comes with a Tiffany blue dial that looks great and can be had in a sterile version. There are also two brand new colorways that I think look absolutely brilliant, a black and gilt option and a green and gilt one. Its measurements are 37 millimeters of width, 11 millimeters of thickness, including the crystal, 20 millimeters lug width and 45 and a half lug tip to lug tip. It has a very nicely designed dial with applied and bloom packed indices, snowflake style hands, beautifully finished stainless steel case and bracelet with solid links, solid end links, and a fully milled clasp. Everything here is impeccable. It has a screw down crown and a screw down case back, bringing the water resistance up to 100 meters. You have a choice of a high beat movement, either a PT5000 or an SW200. This one runs on a PT5000. It looks awesome on wrist. A classic small cased sports watch, slim and well proportioned, a really clean and timeless design. It sports BGW9 Superluminova Loom Compound, so you get a brilliant blue light and great long lasting nighttime visibility. This one costs $326.20 or $456.40, depending on which movement you choose. These were the watches. Now let's move on to the strap San Martin sent me. Starting with a couple of elastic nylon NATOs. Now, I've handled quite a few of those over the last few years, and I have to say, these are probably the best quality ones I've seen. They're thick, they feel robust, and have solid stainless steel hardware and strong stitchings. They go for just under 20 US dollars and are available in a plethora of colorways. I have matched the Bond style black and gray one with my Cooper Submaster and the khaki colored one with my Forzo Endura Timer. Both look great and are very comfortable. If you haven't worn an elastic NATO strap before, I strongly recommend you do. Next are a couple of ribbed nylon NATO straps. These seem to be very popular lately, with many different brands making them. Again, very high quality, strong material, great stainless steel buckle and keepers, strong stitchings. These two cost $19.95, and no less than eight colors are available at the time of recording. I've paired the gray one with my Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. I don't think I've shown this watch on the channel before, but you would have seen it if you were following me on Instagram. 
and I thought it would be fun to match the sunny yellow one with a blue watch, so I put it on the Charlie Paris Concordia. Again, both look great and wear great. Next up is a two-piece leather strap. These only come in 20 mm width, but in 15 different colors and cost approximately 40 bucks. It is textured, thick, well stitched, with the same quality of branded stainless steel hardware and quick release spring bars for easy removal and installation. I've paired this khaki colored one with my Seiko Sarb 033 for a classy and elegant look. It conforms well to the wrist and is really quite comfortable, and I'm sure that after a break in in period, it would become even more comfortable. Last item for today is this two piece nylon strap. This is basically the same material as the nylon NATO strap, with two layers plied together. Strong and accurate stitchings, same type of metal keepers and buckle, and quick release spring bars too. It has five different colors, only 20 millimeters unfortunately, and it too cost $19.95. I wanted to see how the SN0031 Unimatic homage looks on a two-piece nylon strap, so here it is. I think it helps this odd shaped case wear a little bit better than the NATO strap it came on. It would also look great on any kind of diver or field watch in my opinion. That's it for today guys. Thank you very much if you've watched all the way to the end. Let me know what you think of the watches and the straps I've shown you here today. Again, you'll find all the links in the description of this video. These are affiliate links that will not cost you anything extra. But we'll let San Martin and AliExpress know you've reached them after watching my video and there will be a small commission for me if you do decide to use them. So thanks in advance if you do. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection and stay tuned for the full reviews of these watches. Hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of it. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better. Get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. If you've enjoyed this video, you might enjoy one of these two as well. I want to thank San Martin for sending this incredible horological care package. And of course, to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.